Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back in the Palm Master video. So the Palm Master's official Twitter account actually tweeted out something pretty interesting, which is uh, they gathered, I guess, data from all the Champion Stadium runs and then gave us the most pop popular or slash commonly used uh, units and teams for each roles and 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 for each you know Champion Stadium weakness. And uh, yeah, folks, uh, you know, um, that'd be pretty interesting. Uh, for me to do a, I guess, reaction video on it, I guess. <laughs> so let's uh, let's check it out. Let's check it out. So they have, I guess, the most popular uh, overall party, most popular units, uh, I guess, by by their roles, and then the most popular party by opponents' weaknesses, right? So there's there's a lot of this stuff here. So uh, let's just start from the top. The most popular party apparently is Lily Clefairy. Blaine, mm. Rapidash, and Singsu Ren Charizard. Um, obviously, it has to be some form of team with Red and Charizard in there because everyone, you know, likes the guy, right? Um, he's the prop, probably the most popular sync pair overall, um, by far, right? Uh, so that's not too much of a surprise there. Blaine sets Sun, and then you have Lily Fairy to max out, um, you know, uh, Red's uh, uh, physical attack as well. So you get the full Haymaker sync on top of having the Solar Flare. Uh, five extra fifty percent on, on sun on top of the one point five times wall player that sun uh, sun gives you right so, uh, makes ton of sense. Uh, although I personally would like Hilbert in there over Clefairy just because I like you know Hilbert's speed a bit more. But Clefairy does give you guaranteed crit, which is nice, right? Especially if you are running an EX um Singsu Red, you know when when it hits all three opponents, uh, chance of getting them all crits is not you know not 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 the best, right? So that makes sense. All right, uh, can I make these? Uh, can we? Can we? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. This is a bit better, I guess. Right. Um, all right. Moving on to the most popular by role. Um, so you have uh, Sings of Red and Charizard here, Leon and Charizard here, um, Brennan and Septile in there, Maxi and Groudon, and then Zekrom. So there's a few surprises for me, I guess personally. Uh, obviously, Red Charizard. Leon Charizard, not a surprise at all. Extremely popular trainer, you know, Pokemon, all that stuff. Brendan, I'm, I'm actually not surprised either because Brendan is one of the, you know, uh, OG, I guess, units uh, from ever since the game launched, right? So a lot of people would have this guy, right? Um, in comparison to some of the other ones that, that I are a bit surprised about because they're more limited, right? They're not in the general pool. They haven't been around for that long. Um, but Brennan's been here since the start, right? And a lot of people have him, and he's still pretty good, right? He's still pretty good, um, generally, right? And people like Septile, I guess. Uh, and Brendan. So, uh, moving on. This is the one that slightly surprised me a bit. Obviously, Maxi and Groudon, incredibly, incredibly powerful. I mean, he's probably the strongest unit on this whole page, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. He's by far the best unit, um, that, that they've shown here. And, um, the th thing that I'm slightly surprised with is just because he released relatively recently, right? He was, what, in, I want to say July or June, right? He came out in June or, I think June, right? Uh, he came out in June, he wasn't, you know, that recent. He was a Master Fair, obviously, Master Fair being limited, um, limited units, um, in comparison to, like, general pool units, uh, plus it's, like, 1% in comparison to the Poké Fair 2%. Um, I'm slightly surprised by this one, but um, the part I'm not surprised uh, is just he's just so he's so good, right? He's so good, so I, I guess that part's not that much of a surprise. Um, the other one I'm slightly surprised is by uh, uh, by his Anand Zekrom. Don't get me wrong, I, I think Anand Zekrom's good, right? But I don't. He's not like next level good. <laughs> And also, I mean, again, this is obviously not fully based on strength, right? I mean, Brennan Septile's on here, on here, and he's well, very, very good. He's not anything crazy, right? But, um, but at least Brennan Septile is like a general pool unit, and and Zekrom is limited, uh, and is a very popular though, and is very, very popular as, as a trainer. Zekrom people like as well. So I guess it makes sense. It makes sense. It's just I'm. It's just a very weird, <laughs> um, Poké Fair to have on there. Right, it's not like the best. It's not the best, and it's not like it's not a general pool unit either that a lot of people would have. So I, I'm just slightly curious about that one. Anyways, um, moving on, we have the most popular text. We have uh, Sings with Leaf and Venusaur, obviously. All right. Um, even though I don't feel like Sings with Venusaur is really great in the Champion Stadium, um, currently. 
uh, I mean, I'm not I'm like she's not like bad or whatever, right? But at the moment, usage is not the best, other than toxic stalling, which makes a lot of sense. But there's probably more accessible units that also do that, right? Uh, Blaine Rapdash makes a ton of sense. Uh, main Swapper makes all the sense of the world, right? Viola Mascarene and Janine and Arios. I kind of get Viola Mascarene because Viola is free, right? Viola is free, so everyone has access to her. She's okay, right? She's a bit of a special tank, can debuff some, you know, uh, special attack. Uh, since special attack debuffs aren't the most common in the world, right? Um, oh, there's like Getsis, Lutan Surge, um, Hydreigon, etc., right? Genie and Aridos, I'm slightly surprised with. Um, again, she is very accessible, which is the part I'm not surprised with, but like, she's not like, she's not good. <laughs> she doesn't really do too much. Um, she, like, she's super, super niche. Like, you'd only really run her in like toxic stall comps if you ever want to stall someone. And even so, honestly, I there's better units to run in a toxic stall comp than Janine Aeros. But again, she is very, very accessible, so that's probably what pushes her, um, you know, past the, the limit. But yeah, uh, Blaine Rapdash sets Sun, Man Swamper sets Rain, uh, with Refreshable, plus as a tank, plus does billion damage, plus as a big sink nuke, etc, etc, etc. And, uh, we talked about things so we'll the sword. Alright, moving on to supports. Um, I'm surprised uh, Xerneas is not... Actually, never mind, I take that back. Xerneas isn't the best in, ma in, in Master Mode. Well, this isn't like Master Mode specifically, champ it's just Champion Stadium, I guess. Um, but yeah, Xerneas is very, very good. Although Xerneas isn't the best in, in Champion Stadium, Xerneas is the best when it uh, comes to longer fights like a Legendary Arena, right? Again, Xerneas is still good. Please do not tell people that post said Xerneas and Sycamore is not good in mass Master Mode. Because that's, you know, no. Um, yeah, it's still good in Master Mode. I, I just thought it'd be like a bit higher. But then again, after I thought about it, then yeah. Because like, mass with Master Mode... Um, again, I keep on saying match, but like Champion Stadium in general, right? But again, most people are doing mass mode. I mean, there's no point not doing it. It's not like super hard, right? Uh, and it gives you a lot of rewards, but um, I, I guess the thing with Xerneas and Sycamore is you don't really need a tank in mass mode a lot of times, right? Um, obviously, you should still have someone take hits. You can't just get like eliminated, right? Like, no. Um, but yeah, her, her big, uh, or Xerneas' big thing is like, it's fantastic tank, right? In. And the downside to Xerneas is you do have to like, sync with Xerneas to get like, all the good stuff from Xerneas, right? And the thing with Master Mode, Master Mode is like, way too fast for you to get multiple syncs in. Xerneas is really, 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 really good in stages where you get multiple syncs in, right? Um, and then in Master Mode, I guess that that's not really the case, because there are much, much more valuable sinks that you kind of want again like uh, whether it be an ex support sink what Cernus doesn't have at the moment once it does oh boy right <laughs> but uh i guess the ex support sinks are a bit more valuable um at this moment then you have obviously the tech and striker nukes right if you have you know, especially if they're ex um sinks with bloom blastways makes sense skyland swana makes sense everyone has skyland swana right missing army also makes sense everyone has her Although I don't think she's that great in Champion Stadium at the moment, I don't. She doesn't really have that much of a role, uh, I don't think. But again, everyone has access to Missy's Army. What I am surprised by is no Rosa here. Not that Rosa is great or anything, but like everyone has Rosa, and like she is a special attack buffer, right? Or Roxanne. I see so many people running Roxanne because Roxanne is actually really, really, really good, right? Um, I'm yeah, I'm slightly surprised to see Misty and Starmie here over like Roxanne or Rosa, I guess. Uh, or Torchic, Torchic, that's another, that's a big one, right? Yeah, yeah, I, oh, no, no, I'm definitely surprised to see Misty over here, over, uh, over, um, Rosa, Roxanne, Torchic. And then Sing Lisa and Rotom. Ah, she's okay, uh, I guess. Um, I, yeah, I guess I'm slightly surprised to see her over, uh, on here over, like, Sabrina or Hilbert, I guess. Um, which are also general pool supports that are much better. I guess, uh, but yeah, that's fine, that's fine, um, moving on, uh, moving on to, I think these are team comps by each weakness, uh, alright, starting with fire, you have, why is Torchic here? 
okay here's my understanding of these i think these are like not like you know just three units three most used units i think this is just like the most commonly reoccurring teams so which makes this like even more what the heck because <laughs> what is this team so you have leon charizard with um torchic which is not the best but it's fine right it's fine you, you know max out leon's uh, special attack and crit uh, relatively easily, just with, with you know without relying on um, MP rekindle. I guess I don't get the Flannery and Torkoal part. Why run Flannery and Torkoal when you could just run like Blaine, which is just so much, so much, so much better. Probably people are thinking, oh, like we could get the burn in, but like Inferno 100 cent burns anyways. So for for Leon's wildfires, yeah, I, like again, Torchic makes sense, I guess. Leon. Leon obviously makes a lot of sense, but like Torkoal, and I'm, and I'm super surprised it's not like a Sinks of Red team. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's Leon instead of Red, um, so I'm slightly surprised by that. Water, that's the, that's the holy, that's the, that's the world destroyer over there, right? Archie, Kyogre, May Swampert, Sinks of Blast, uh, Blue and Blast Waves. That's, you know, one of the best teams in the game overall, right? Um, not surprised to see that one there. <laughs> this is, that's the absolute, just, um, yeah. Uh, grass, we have Dawn, Torterra, Brennan, Sceptile, and Lyra, Meganium. Uh, I, uh, what is, I don't, Lyra is not doing anything in there? I guess if you want, like, the extra, like, crit for Torterra, so you're nuking with Tor, oh, this doesn't make sense, never mind, this, no, this team doesn't make sense. Uh, okay, I guess you also give, like, speed, but it's only, like, plus two speed unless you get MP refresh with, um, Meganium. And it's not like Meganium has like an EX, and we're not like EX supporting syncing with Meganium to get the sun as well. Because in this case, I'd rather just sync with Brendan, just get the um, Inertia Nuke here. Uh, Dawn Torterra is fine, she's a tank, right? Lyra and Meganium doesn't make too much sense here. If you want something with the for the ramming speed and Inertia, just run a pure like speed support. That's just like, again, Lyra and Meganium, not a bad support, a fantastic, fantastic support. But you'd rather run her in sun? <laughs> And obviously she does set sun for herself, but like, where's like, but in this specific team, you probably want to use Brennan Sceptile more than you need the sun because uh, Brennan Sceptile has the extra, like, I think uh, extra sync damage from the sun, but that's not like a big deal at all. Plus you can't get the extra sync damage if you're syncing with Lyra, <laughs> right? Yeah, Lyra just doesn't make sense here. Um, like, she just really just doesn't do anything. Um, uh, anything substantial, I guess, right? Unless, in this case, you're... Okay, 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 okay. I just ripped big brain this. Okay, I think I know how this makes sense now. So what you're doing is you're buffing crit with a buffing crit and physical attack. Because the thing with Brennan and Sceptile is Brennan can max out his own crit, max out his own um, uh, attack special attack, right? But what you could do here is, okay, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so you're buffing crit and physical attack for Dawn. And your EX support syncing with Dawn with the pecking order sync nuke. So you're not only getting a sync nuke, you're also getting the EX support buff. And then you blast people with an EX support boosted leaf storm on Brennan. Okay, that has to be the only explanation, or else Lyra makes no sense here. Or else Lyra makes no sense here. Right, that has to be the explanation. That has to be the explanation. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, yeah, like some of these game comps are fine. Some of these are really, really whack. I, by the way, I did do, uh, for those um, who are struggling uh, with building team comps, I did do a team comp building uh, guide, which is very, very comprehensive. You guys could check that out um, somewhere on the channel. It's very, very long, though. Because you like, you, you could just like fast forward it or, or whatever. Uh, two times, I don't know. Two two times is hard to tell. Maybe like one point five times speed. It I don't know. Um. Anyways, uh, moving on, we have Electro type, and this is this one makes sense, right? Volkner, Zekrom, Hilbert. Uh, you have um Hilbert over here maxing out Zekrom's uh crit and physical attack, which he can't you know really reliably do himself. And then Volkner set up Electro train for a big. Uh, Zekrom Sing slash Zekrom Bolt Track damage. This one makes all the sense of the world, right? Um, everything fits. All right, moving on, we have uh, Ice, Getsus, Kyurem, uh, Xerneas, Sycamore, Price, and Dugong. Uh, okay, I don't like this team. Um, I don't I don't like this team. Uh, I don't like Xerneas in there, 
right? I can I like Xerneas. Xerneas is a great unit, right? Fantastic unit. Uh, however, th there are slight contradictions in this team, right? Uh, which is the existence of Xerneas and Kyurem kind of clash with each other because the thing is, uh, Kyurem's strongest point is Kyurem's really, really powerful you know, sync nuke, right? Which in this case, you're if you're running uh, Sycamore and Xerneas, you're taking away that big um, nuke from uh, Getsus and Kyurem. And if you're not nuking with Xerneas, then well, first of all, where does your special attack come from with Kyurem? Unless you're just doing like the half HP thing. Um, and then, uh, but then you'd also, you just don't have an, a, enough turns because you, on one side, you have to be buffing your um, offensive stats. On the other hand, you need to debuff the opponent's stats to get your sync nuke in, right? Um, again, price with Kira makes sense. Uh, Sycamore just doesn't really fit here, right? A uh, Sabrina would be much, much better uh, instead of Sycamore, uh, because again, like they're they're competing to sync, right? They're competing to sync in this uh, specific scenario, uh, whereas Kira has a sync nuke, Sycamore has the stat buff sync, and unless you're syncing with Sycamore first and then syncing with Kira second, that's a tough one though. That's a tough one. That that might take. Bit too long to take out the opponent anyways uh moving on also i don't know how well the speed is over here she does uh it says sigmar does give you both movie acceleration and like max speed buffs uh unless you like get an mp I, I guess it's not that bad if you get an mp refresh on xerneas's train to move um yeah yeah it should be fine never mind all right moving on fighting um phew, lily okay that's that's just the red you know nuke uh, team comp. Uh, obviously, this is fine, right? Um, red's very, very, very powerful. You can use them off type. No issue with that. I'm just slightly... Uh, I'm slightly surprised that people choose to off type this instead of just going with on type fighting type Pokemon because it's not like fighting type units are like bad or whatever. Even like the free ones, right? You got Sogaleo who's, you know, even though Sogaleo's not the best steel type striker, but Sogaleo fighting, right? Focus Blast, Sogaleo is actually really, really good, right? And then you have Lucario and Karina, which isn't terrible either. Definitely should be enough to beat like a master mode stage, right? Or again, regular champion stadium stage. Um, uh, again, this, this team comp is fine, makes sense, but uh, I'm just surprised it's more used, more popular than just like a, either a Sogaleo or, or, um, or Karina comp, or even like a Wally. Wally's been here for a while, right? Obviously, Wally's incredibly powerful. So, anyways, moving on, we got. Uh, we, 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 we're, we're done with that page. We don't, we've got nothing. All right, let's open another one. So here we go. We got poison. Uh, uh, James losing Rose Superior, Koga, Corbett. Uh, this is fine, I guess. Um, this is slightly RNG heavy though. You do have to rely on Koga getting an MP refresh on his trainer move right because if i remember correctly his trainer move should be i haven't used kogan oil uh or at least his, his you know nuke i'm pretty sure his trainer move is only plus one crit right yeah it's only plus one crit so for this team to work you do have to get lucky on koga's mp refresh on on the crit um james wheezing to fully poison the opponent rose appeared to max out koga's special attack koga triple um, uh, triple train to move into a blind, blind, s oh, wait, no, wait a second, oh, no, 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 three of them would, would max out blind spot, never mind, it's plus two, not plus one, all right, makes sense, I guess, it's a bit risky, though, it is a bit risky, um, because after, after you sink off, you still have to deal with the sides, like, you should be able to one-shot the mid with a blind spot, no, but then you have to deal with the sides, the shock's not terrible damage-wise, but it's uh, it's not the most reliable one. Ground type, we have Cynthia Garchomp, Scotland Swanna, Israel Palsan. Scotland Swanna in here makes no sense. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say it makes no sense. It's fine. It's fine, but I, I'd, I'd expect a team comp with like a tank with a, a, a sand shelter tank at least. But yeah, I mean, Scotland Swanna, Scotland Swanna. Um, yeah, it's fine i i don't really like this though i don't really like this because if you want to max out cynthia cynthia's like physical attack you have to like double sandstorm right and also you have to hope you get like the crit buff on the um on 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 the on the on the sandstorm proc which is what 50 50 yeah this is very very rng heavy as well 
Uh, pretty RNG heavy. Moving on, flying. Blue Pidgeot, Sing Su, Lisa, Rotom, Scott and Swana. This one's fine, right? Um, again, Scott and Swana in here for uh, for some reason. Uh, she doesn't really do anything. I guess she does like trigger Blue's flying type theme skill, but like it's not like that big. I would personally rather just run someone else who could do you know some damage over there on the side or whatever. Um, Sing Su, Lisa, Rotom, Blue Pidgeot does max out uh, Blue's. Uh, Crit, give some accuracy. Not that blue really needs it. Max out your special attack. Um, yeah. Uh, you 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 don't really have anything to help with the um with the extra multipliers. Uh, with the uh, what was it called again? The, the Harry multiplier. But I mean, it's fine if you don't run Harry. I I don't. I, don't, it's, I personally don't like running Harry either. <laughs> so I understand this one. Um, all right, this one makes no sense. This 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 is the one that I actually looked at before before um doing this video. This one makes absolutely no sense. Psychic Week, the most popular. Remember, this is most popular party. The most popular party for Psychic Week is Serena Del Fox, Ethan Typhlosion, and Lyra Meganium. How? Oh, how'd that fall off? But like, how? How in the world? Right? I mean, it's off-type. Off-type's fine, right? Off-type happens. But why this specific team? This is such a specific team that people run. Like, Serena, Delphox, even Typhlosion, Lyra Meganium. It's such an extremely specific team because um, cause usually people, when, when they go off-type, they go with incredibly overpowered damage dealers, right? Serena and Delphox, a fantastic, fantastic damage dealer. Uh, even Typhlosion, not that much, but like... This is not, like, even if you are trying to, like, damage, you know, you're going to use a damage damage dealing um, Serena Delphox uh, build to, like, clear an off-type stage, this is not the team comp you should go for, right? Uh, first of all, you need Sun. Also, Lyra Meganium in here without Sun, once again, for some reason. <laughs> this one baffles me to no end. Absolutely baffles me to no end. So, you have two Fire-type units in here. You got no Sun. Right, unless again you're syncing with Lyra in big game over Serena Delphox's sync nuke, which is again a very, very powerful sync nuke. You are probably no, no. You have to sync with Lyra in or else this team makes does not does not work. This team straight up does not work if you're not uh, syncing Lyra in First of all, you won't have enough speed. Assuming, oh, you know what? I think people are oh, dude, people are probably not even using overheat Delphox. They're probably just doing it like hypnosis Delphox with like, oh, why? This makes no sense. Here's the thing. Again, is this team comp like the worst thing I've ever seen in the world? No, this is definitely not the worst thing I've ever seen. Um, it's fine. It's not very powerful, but it's fine. But it's Psychic Week. Mewtwo is free. Mewtwo is free because usually, usually what you'd see in terms of like popular units usage or popular team comps are usually around um, units that are more obtainable, right? More obtainable units. That's why you see uh, the Rosa, Koga, Weezing up there, right? Because they're all free units, all free units, right? So a lot of people have, and they run them together. That's why you see Skyla Swana that much, right? She's not, you know, she's not bad or whatever, but, you know, sometimes she doesn't really do too much in a team, but uh, she's all, she's definitely a reliable tank. She can give you speed buffs, right? And she's free, right? She's free, so that's why a lot of people use her uh, or have her and use her. This one makes no sense. None of these guys are free. They're all general pool units, which is like not super hard to obtain, but like none of these guys are free. This is off type. And for this specific type, there are fantastic, fantastic free units. You have Mewtwo. You have Mew. Fantastic, fantastic free to play options. Like Will, right? Will's very, very good as well. How is an off type random just weird general pool comp? Right, not even free comp, more popular than any Mewtwo or Mew comp, right? And here's 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 what's even like makes like less sense. Here's here's why this makes even less sense, right? Look at the Ghost one. Look at the Ghost one. Ghost Week. People run Giovanni for Ghost Week, which is fine, right? But you run it for Ghost Week, but then you don't run it for Psychic Week. And you go off that with Psychic Week? What? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. The other thing that even makes that makes less sense, right? 
is like, why this specific team? Why are you tanking with Lyra for one? Why are you running Ethan Tide Halogen? If you're wondering, you're just nitpicking at this point, but no, these two units are, 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 are like specific. They're uniquely bad for Psychic Week because remember, Champion Stadium, who is Psychic Week? Bruno is Psychic Week, Marshall is Psychic Week, right? Bruno, Marshall, Psychic Week. They're in all three of like Bruno, Kanto, and Johto has Bruno, and then Unova has Marshall. What are their specific characteristics? They are physical damage healers. They're physical damage healers. Lyra, not a great physical tank. Not a great physical tank at all, right? You could maybe have an argument. She's okay. She's okay for special, you know, for, for, for tanking special hits, right? Because uh, uh, the thing with Lyra, which makes her a acceptable tank, is she has a lot of HP. A lot of HP. However, physical defense, terrible. Special defense, not great either, but not bad. And you have light screen to help with that. Why are you running Lyra in this tank against a very, 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 very physical uh, opponent, which is either Bruno or Marshall? The other thing that makes no sense, um, Ethan. Why am I saying Ethan makes no sense? Ethan's biggest, biggest, biggest weakness, right? Biggest weakness by far is his multipliers. Eruption, if you get hit, the power drops, right? The power drastically drops if you get hit. And then you also have um, HP advantage here as well, right? Like these, these small flyers, just like you get decimated. Obviously, you have health healing and a lot of things to like help that. But like both Bruno, both Bruno and Marshall have a lot of AOE moves. These the big thing about these two guys are uh, either they hit hard. There's a week where they're hit hard. There's a you know week that they have. A lot of AOE moves, right? There's the bulldozes, the onyx does, the earthquakes, the rock slides, etc., etc. A lot of AOE moves, which hits Ethan, which is very, very bad for Ethan. This makes absolutely no sense. The more you think about this team, the less it makes sense. The more you think about it, the less it makes sense. I didn't even think about that until like just a few moments ago when I was, when I was you know, um, because I didn't think about that before doing the video, but like after like looking at it, it's just. My balls me, because again, Mewtwo is free. Mewtwo is free, and Mewtwo is fantastic. Mewtwo is fantastic. Mewtwo is psychic type. Why are you using these guys over Mewtwo? The again, the only like uh, like the, the like one of my only like explanations maybe is because it's Champion Stadium, and then people use Mewtwo for Ghost types, so you don't have it for like psychic types either. But then again, I checked the schedules. I went back what three, four months to check the schedules. Psychic and Ghost type has only been on the same week once, right? They've only been on the same week once. Even, even, even if you say okay, I'm using Mewtwo for something else, so I'm gonna off type uh, this, right? Or, or or I can't use Mewtwo for this. You still have Mew. Mew is free. Mew is still very, very good. Mew's not Mew too good, but Mew is still very, very good, right? If not that, you have Bianca, which dis absolutely destroys psychic stages. And she's in the general pool, as I just knocked a bunch of my cards off of my desk accidentally. Whoops. But yeah, no, this makes no sense. This makes no sense. All, all the other ones so far are fine, right? All the other ones, I, I, they're, you know, some of them are slightly awkward, but generally makes sense this one makes absolute like negative five cents like what is this anyways moving on bug we have alder volcarona uh ribambi and viola mask Rain. i think people sometimes just like running full like same type teams just for the sake that they're same types and then they activate some um pretty useless theme skills i guess uh why is lily here why is Lily here? Viola Masquerade makes sense because you could debuff the opponent's uh, special attack for all those multipliers, right? And, and obviously that's very, very good. Why is Lily here? <laughs> if you say, okay, we're going to get some extra... On top of being a tank, we could do some extra chip damage with Leech Life into Super Faker, then okay, fine. <laughs> um, I, there's nothing wrong with Ribambi. Ribambi obviously is fine in this team, right? It, I, I, I just find it like a bit like surprising because like she's a limited unit. And I didn't think people would have that many, like, you know, uh, limited units. I thought it'd make more sense to either have, like, a general pool unit in there or, like, a free one. But I, I guess a lot of people have New Year's Lily, then. Not that I know of, right? But, okay. Uh, moving on, last one is uh, Rock. Uh, the double Iconox plus Palazan. Uh, who 
are we tanking with here? <laughs> Probably Acerola Palisand tanking. Acerola Palisand is not a good tank. Um, can you even be mash mode with this? Probably. I mean, if you get like lucky, like the flinches, you might be able to be mash mode. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like this team comp either. Like, why is like Kukui? What are you doing there? Right, like. If you want to run Acer Oil Pass Hand with Olivia Lycroft, that's fine, but like you need a t like you need a solid tank there. Like Kukui, like Kukui's a fine unit. It's just it's a bit too dangerous. You probably want a tank there. Better tank. Um But yeah, this is not incredibly egregious, I guess. Moving on. Alright, starting with the um ghost type over here. Uh, the ghost type we talked about before. Um, ghost type units are super super down bad before anniversary lily, right? Uh, so me too makes sense. Me too makes sense, right? Me too. Everyone has, right? Like that's, that's what I'm saying about these units. Like, I'd assume units like me too and Giovanni, Rosa Superior would be more used than units that either you have to summon for or limited, because these are free units, right? So this 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 makes sense. Um, me too, Giovanni. Okay, all right. Uh, a slight nitpick. Um, what is Rosa slash or, or not Rosa? What is L Liza doing there? You'd already max out Mewtwo's special attack with Rosa. You don't really need Liza, right? You could throw in like anything else, like Musharna for Psychic Terrain or or not Psychic Terrain. This is Ghost. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was talking about like it was Psychic, bro. <laughs> which again still baffles my mind that they are not using Giovanni on. Like, they use Giovanni on Ghost, which again is fine. Giovanni, completely understandable for a Ghost. But, how do people use the, a Giovanni team with Ghost but not with Psychic? Ah! Anyways, um, again, Lugia Loon Tone's fine. Nothing wrong with it. It's just slightly a bit of a waste of a slot. You could, like, throw in something else in there that's slightly more interesting, whether it be, you know, uh, maybe like a Potion Healer or whatever, even, honestly. Right, but it's fine. Uh, Dragon. Uh, it's the red team again. Uh, fine, right? I mean, again, this is like a pretty over, you know, pretty overpowered team, I'd say, right? Generally, so like, if you want to use a soft type, but like, uh, also dragon, there's a lot of really, really good, you know, free or not super hard to attack dragons. Like, there's so many dragons. Maybe, maybe it's because there's so many different dragons that people use all people use a lot of dragons on these, but there's so many different ones, so they can't like, uh, they're not as um. Uh, they're not as concentrated in comparison to something like, you know, ground, because, like, before Maxi, it was just, like, Garchomp, right? So that's why, like, everyone on ground used Garchomp, because there's not that many ground-type damage healers. And then maybe for Dragon, there's just too many different Dragon-type damage healers, right? And then apparently this is the one off-type comp everyone and their mom uses, so I guess this makes sense. Even though, again, like, Zinion Rayquaza is just really, really fantastic, right? But, oh well. Um, there's just too much dragon types, I guess. Dark, um, oh boy, uh, he, like, here's another one, Piers and Obscoon. They're putting it in there just because it's dark type. <laughs> Doesn't really help that other team that much. Uh, you could definitely get a better tank than Piers and Obscoon there. Uh, Fall Hilbert and Nanu, they work relatively well together because Nanu could debuff the opponent's physical defense, um, to get, not only get extra damage because they're defense debuff, but also the um, insult to entry multiplier on, on Hilbert, right? Uh, I am slightly surprised because Hilbert is limited. Fall Hilbert is limited, so I didn't think that that many people would have him, but apparently people do, so. Uh, and then we have Steel, Jasmine, Steelix, Steven Metagross, Hilbert, Samurai. Jasmine, Steelix does absolutely nothing here. Why is she here? Okay, because she tanks. <laughs> but I don't know. I... I, I guess my mindset would be we'd probably throw in something a bit more useful here because like you could tank with Hilbert Samurai already on the other side. He's not the best tank. He's obviously not as good as Tank as uh, you know Jasmine Celix, but maybe throw in something a bit more useful in there. Um, even like a Kakui or um, or an Anu debuff the opponent's uh, physical defense, or whatever. Then you could go, uh, you know, max attack crit with Hilbert and then go with a Haymaker nuke with Steven. Um, yeah. Steven is limited, but he is like one of the earliest limited units, so I assume a lot of people would have him. Uh, last one, I think, right? Fairy, got Summer Mar- Oh, okay. Oh my- Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm definitely surprised by this team. 
Not because it's bad, because it's it's a pretty powerful team. However, you have what one, two, three limited units in there, <laughs> and Marnie is pretty um. Some of Marnie's pretty recent, so I am pretty surprised by this one. Again, not because it's a bad team. It's a really good team, right? I'm just surprised that so many people have Summer Marnie and Champion Iris on top of Sinsu Blastoise. I guess a lot of people have Sinsu Blue Blastoise, but like Champion Iris and Summer Marnie? And Summer Marnie's pretty recent too, right? Especially since, again, we do have Xerneas, which is free. Right? And Xerneas, even though not a damage healer, Xerneas could easily just stomp on Fairy Weeks. So yeah, again, it's not, like some of these... I'm surprised by it, not because they're like bad teams or bad units or whatever, it's just because I, I'm just surprised that even though there are like free options that people use like the more limited units, uh, maybe I underestimated people's, uh, <laughs> um, uh, you know, uh, will to pull on certain units, I guess. But yeah, anyways, um, that's fun, that's fun. Um, good to know, good to know these stats, even though some of these <laughs> seem kind of bonkers, but most of these seem, you know, fine, right? I mean, this water team just this is the most natural thing in the world if you have these units why would you run anything else like maybe you could like throw in cyrus instead of me but like if you have these units you, like this is every single time right um but yeah this is cool this is cool definitely um nice to see hopefully they do this more in the future hopefully uh yeah ho hopefully they, they, they don't get scared by um people's reactions to these um and 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 do this in, in the future as well these are fun oh i just got a new tweet um yeah oh you know what i could do what i could do i can actually oh we could do a master mode run with these teams i just run these specific teams that are listed here and then we could do a master mode oh that's ah oh, that's cool that's cool all right uh stay tuned <laughs> folks in the future for 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 the for that video that should be fun i need to do it before the alolan thing comes out or else we don't have mass mode anymore so anyways again that's me this one hopefully all enjoyed my guys check out the comments down below like if you know this video is right channel for some more part of content i'll see you guys in the next one